good morning welcome to the lecture on non homogeneous differential equation of higher order so in the previous lecture we learned how to solve homogeneous differential equations that is by finding the complementary function with different cases like the first case roots are real and distinct the case two roots are real and equal third case roots are imaginary or complex roots so in this lecture i am going to discuss briefly about non homogeneous differential equation that is when the function p of x is not equal to 0 we will see how to solve the differential equation so here i am going to discuss about the uh, type 3 that is when the function p of x is a polynomial equation in the sense if the p of x of the form x power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 plus a2 x power n minus 2 is the equation so here uh, in the non homogeneous differential equations the solution of the equation is given by complementary function plus particular integral already we learned how to find the complementary function now we will see for the polynomial equations how to find the particular integral the formula for particular integral is given by f of d equation with the division of x power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 plus a2 x power n minus 2 so here we have to apply the long division method so how do they take the function in the sense so take all the x terms in the decreasing order and all the d terms in the increasing order to apply the long division method so say for example the problem is like this solve y double dash minus 2 y dash plus y 5y is equal to 25 x square plus 12 so it is an non homogeneous differential equation when p of x in the form of a polynomial here so already we know y dash is nothing but dy by dx and y double dash is nothing but d square y by dx square so i am going to replace all the d by dx terms by capital d so if i replace like that i'll get the equation like d square y minus 2 dy plus 5y is equal to 25x square plus 12 if i take y common factor i'll get the equation like um d square minus 2d plus 5 into y is equal to 25x square plus 12 so now we have to make a auxiliary equation m square minus 2m plus 5 is equal to 0 on simplifying the equation we will get the roots like m is equal to 1 plus or minus 2i since the roots are here complex roots the complementary function will be e power x c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x will get this now we will see how to find the particular integral so already i told that take the all x terms in the decreasing order like 25 x square plus 12 and all the d terms in the increasing order like 5 minus 2d plus d square so to find the first root take the polynomial equation first function that is 25 x square and the first function of d equation that is 5 divide both so i am going to divide 25 x square divided by 5 to find the first root so i got it 5 x square so once we got the first root i am going to multiply the entire d equation with the root 5 x square so if i multiply entire 5 minus 2d plus d square with 5 x square i'll get the equation like 25 x square minus 20 x plus 10 So on solving the equation, I got the equation like 20x plus 2. So to find the next equation, so from the 20x plus 2 equation, take the first function that is 20x divided by the first term of d equation that is 5. So I will get 4x as the root. Again, multiply the entire d equation with 4x. So we'll get a 20x minus 8. on simplifying the equation i got it 10 here so again dividing the 10 with the first function of the d equation i got 10 by 5 will be 2 so again multiplying the entire equation with 2 i got it 10 here since getting 0 we have to solve the equation so now the particular integral will be 5x square plus 4x plus 2 so now so to make the complete solution we have to combine the complementary function with particular integral so we'll get the equation like e power x into c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus 5x square plus 4x plus 2 so now we'll see one more example on polynomials only so the equation is like d cube minus 3d minus 2 into y is equal to x square so here x square also polynomial only so first we have to make the auxiliary equation by replacing 
d is equal to m so i got it the equation like m cube minus 3m minus 2 is equal to 0 on solving the equation m cube minus 3m minus 2 i got the roots like m is equal to minus 1 2 minus 1 so here we can observe that the roots minus 1 minus 1 are roots are real and real and equal the complementary function will be c1 plus c2x e power minus x and 2 is a real root but distinct so complementary function will be plus c3 e power 2x so now we will see how to find the particular integral since only one function is there i can take x square here and take all the d terms in the increasing order to find the first root i am taking x square divided by first term of the d equation that is minus 2 so we can take the first root is minus x square by 2 so now multiplying entire d equation with minus x square by 2 will get the equation like x square plus 3x so on simplifying the equation i got the equation like minus 3x so now dividing minus 3x again with the first term of the d equation that is minus 2 so i can get the root like plus 3 by 2x again multiplying the entire d equation with 3x by 2 we got the equation like minus 3x minus 9 by 2 so on simplifying the equation again i got plus 9 by 2 again to find the next root i got 9 by 2 divided by minus 2 i'll get minus 9 by 4 so again if you multiply the entire d equation with minus 9 by 4 that term will become 0 so once we, we got 0 here we can stop the process so the particular integral will be minus x square by 2 plus 3x by 2 minus 9 by 4 so now by combining both the uh, complementary function and particular integral the complete solution will be c1 plus c2x e power minus x plus c3 e power 2x plus minus x square by 2 plus 3x by 2 minus 9 by 4 is the solution for the given equation so in the next lecture i am going to discuss about one more type of the non-homogeneous differential equation thank you